What's going on, everybody? Uh, PRS steering rack is here. Uh, waited a couple weeks for this to come in from Poland. Poland, I believe, is where it came from. Uh, there is no website or anything to order this. This was all done through Facebook Messenger with the company. So if you guys are looking for one, that's how you get one. Um, so, yeah. I noticed around uh, last month or the month before... I was getting ready to do my cam seals. They've been leaking pretty bad since Christmas. It's the first week of May, so that tells you how long I've been waiting on it. Uh, yeah, so my cam seals are still leaking. Um, when I lifted the front of the car up to start taking the radiator apart and get ready to get behind the timing belt, the rack started leaking. So I had oil leaking in the front and then the rack leaking behind. So it was like, ah, all right, we'll do this another day. Here we go. This is the PRS rack. I haven't seen one on YouTube um, other than ones that are in cars and you can't really see the rack. So I figured I would post a little unbox video. This is exactly how it came. Uh, I, all I've done is cut the box open. So a lot of bubble wrap, which is great to see, especially with it coming across the ocean. Uh, this is the GC8 model. And this is for left-hand drive. So, yeah. That's what it looks like. Uh, brand new, fresh and shiny. Uh, again, I haven't done anything to this. Looks like it's got some O-rings. Yeah, we got some O-ring. O-ring love right there, which is great. Uh, sticker. It's even got a little badge on the front of it, which is kind of neat. Uh, so, when they're teching your car at autocross, they can yell at you because you have a quick rack and uh put you in a class that you don't want to be in uh anyway that is it i if i remember correctly they just take a factory rack and then add a quickener in it uh that could be wrong um so don't quote me on that um that's just what i've heard from other people um, and I'm, if I remember correctly it's uh, rebuilt using OEM parts so it should be very reliable uh, and since it's GC mounting, it's literally bolt in. Uh, I've heard tell of some guys have actually needed to just bend one or two fittings uh, to make it fit on the uh, hard lines. But other than that, it should just bolt right in. Um, I actually bought the white line bushings as well. So I'm going to put the white line bushings in, one here. I think the other one goes over here. So. We'll see. We'll see how that all goes together. Um, I know there's a lot to take apart to do this job, but it should be a good time once it's all in. And I will post another video when that is complete. So thanks for following along. If you have any questions, just shoot me a comment, and I'll try to answer as best as I can.